Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a review of the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation and I'm going to be giving you guys a full update when it comes to my foundation routine. My foundation routine has changed a little bit when it comes to like the, the way in which I prep my skin before doing makeup. It's changed from when I did my everyday makeup routine, which if you haven't seen, I'll link it right over here. It's changed a little bit when it comes to that. I'm losing I'm using less powder I'm doing way more things when it comes to prepping the skin before foundation so I'm gonna show you all of that I'm also gonna be talking about a few more new products that I have in there from the drugstore some good ones some not so good ones so I'm gonna be touching on a lot of different things sneaking in some little new products new favorites and things like that so before we get started don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you as part of this little community that I'm trying to build here on YouTube so if you're not subscribed yet don't forget to hit that button down below and hit that bell as well that way you're notified whenever I have a new video up. and without further ado if you want to see what my thoughts are on the wet n wild mega cushion foundation what my new foundation routine is and what my thoughts are on some new products at the drugstore then please stay on and keep on watching Okay, so let's get started and the very first thing that I always do when it comes to just prepping the skin for foundation is go ahead and spritz my face with a little bit of the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist and I got this one in one of my BoxyCharm boxes and ever since I got it I've been using it just to like really refresh the skin before getting started with foundation. It doesn't really do much when it comes to the longevity of my makeup but it's really nice just to once again refresh the skin. It has a beautiful cucumber smell and whenever uh, I've been wearing my foundation for a long period of time like four hours into my foundation I just re-spritz my face all over again whenever I want to go in and just whenever I want to go over my foundation once again midday whenever I want to refresh it again retouch it and make sure that everything is nice and smooth and get rid of any cracks that might happen right here on my smile lines after my skin mist what I'll go ahead and do is just go in with a little bit of moisturizer and the moisturizer that I've been using is the a new perfect skin um, cream gel it's all in Spanish so I'm trying to translate but it's um, it has a SPF 20 it says it's for oily skin and that it's a matte finish now I've been using this one for a while and I don't think that it has a lot of properties when it comes to like the mattifying it um, effects that it claims it has I don't see a lot of difference when it comes to like my skin and not being as oily as usual so I don't see a difference when it comes to that but it does have SPF 20 and it does have like a nice feeling on the skin so I'm just using it now just for the sake of using it all and of course it doesn't hurt to get extra protection when it comes to the sun I live in Arizona so it's super important especially if I'm gonna be out in the Sun in my afternoon commute from work I do have an hour commute and the Sun is always like beaming on my face when it comes to traffic so it's really nice just to protect my skin with some SPF doesn't hurt after that I will follow up with some eye cream and I am using the needles no more no more baggage ID puffing gel it's such a wonderful eye cream just to get your eyes nice and rested I've been doing an extra step for my eyes um, as far as skincare goes I do use eye creams in the morning and in the afternoon whereas before I only used to do them in the evening before going to bed but now I use them twice a day just for another layer of pre prevention anti-aging protection when it comes to underneath my eyes and just prevent any bags any wrinkles premature wrinkles any dark circles or anything like that so once all of that is nice and settled into the skin I will follow up with my primer and I'm back to my old good old Smashbox photo finish foundation primer this one's an oldie but a goodie it's my all-time favorite primer and I'll just go in as usual grab some pea-sized amounts of of the primer and just spread it on my forehead down the nose on my chin a little bit and really just spend the time in moving it around in the face on the sides of my nose where my pores are the most prominent and really making sure to press that primer into the skin 
I'm a huge believer of just pressing in the primer into the skin to make sure that it settles in so that when you go into your foundation, it doesn't all like just mesh all together, if that makes sense. Um, this primer is like a silicone-y feeling. So especially for those primers, I do recommend just really taking the time and just pressing it into the skin because otherwise, if you go really quick into your foundation, again, it's all just gonna like mesh up together. Together. I still have some glitter on my face. I don't know if you guys can see it. I went dress shopping and I was looking for a dress because I'm going to Vegas next week and I tried it on and it was like a super glittery dress and I should have known that that freaking glitter was gonna get everywhere and I put the dress over my head and no, no lie, my whole chest was covered in glitter and I couldn't get it out because I was wearing lotion and it was all over me and I was so embarrassed <laughs> I just put all of my like hair forward like here um, on my chest so that no one would notice but I did notice like people were kind of like staring at me <laughs> I'm pretty sure some people thought that I used glitter as like a body highlight or something like that but it was so embarrassing and I just got home took a shower and did my best to remove everything and now the glitter is on my floor it's on the on my mirror on my sink it's everywhere so that's my Sunday <laughs> All right, so now that the primer is all nice and settled in, we're gonna go in with the star of the show in this video, and it is our Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15. So the foundation itself does have another layer of SPF, so that's pretty nice. Doesn't hurt once again to add even more sun protection. So this is the cardboard box that the foundation comes in, and this is the actual component. The packaging says it contains natural component derivatives, Again, it also has S SPF 15. It is a liquid foundation in a cushion compact. It says it's luminous, lightweight, and buildable with a hydrating formula. Now inside of it, you open it up like this. So when you open it up, it comes like in an all black packaging. It doesn't have a mirror up here. It's just like aluminum. And it does come with a little applicator like this, like your usual applicator that comes with cushion foundations. I didn't use it. I just went straight in with my sponge because I knew that would work best for me. So then when you open her up from here, you go straight into the foundation and you do get like a plastic um, protector right here. I already peeled out. Again, this is not a first impression when it comes to the foundation. I've been using it, so I know how it's going to work. And I do warn you that this shade that I got today is a little bit too light for me, so I'm going to be looking a little bit ghostly, but then I'm going to go in with a heavy hand on my bronzer, and it's all just going to work out together, I promise. And speaking of shades, I do have to say that this foundation needs a little bit of work when it comes to the shades. Um, it's a little bit uh, deceiving when it comes to like the packaging here because the packaging the color in the packaging here is a little bit darker than the foundation itself and you're gonna see that and even seeing the shade up from there that one was a little bit too dark for me so I was kind of like an in-between shade and I couldn't find mine and they do need to expand on that because this is a beautiful foundation I need to start off with that I love this foundation so much and I grabbed the shade light ivory and this foundation retails for eight dollars so when you open her up like this all you have to do is just grab your sponge dip it in there and you're gonna get the product nice on your sponge like so and you just go ahead and start dabbing on the skin and you're gonna see that this foundation is very full coverage that's the very first thing that I do want to say about this foundation it's super full coverage I know in the um, packaging it says that it's lightweight I have to disagree with that I've worn it a couple of times and all of the times that I've worn it it has felt heavier than my pro glow foundation and my physicians formula foundation so it does feel like foundation on the skin but when it comes to the claim that the foundation is buildable I do have to agree with that that is true it's super easy to just go um, back into the areas where you need a little bit more coverage and just add a second layer and it's gonna blend smoothly and it's not gonna cake up on you. 
I've been wanting to try out this foundation for such a long time. Um, ever since Tati started to rave about it on her channel, I saw her and her skin just looked so smooth and flawless and I was like, is it really the foundation or is it just her, <laughs> her skin? Because her skin is super beautiful, super flawless. And so I was just curious and but every time that I went to the freaking store, it was always sold out and i've always noticed that every product that tati recommends from the drugstore every time that i try and go get it i've tried the infallible like lippies the chocolate ones i've tried looking for those and they're always sold out i've tried looking for the toppers that she recommends and they're always sold out the maybelline um fit me loose powder has been sold out for a while so every product to that just beauty influencers in general the ones that they recommend as their like ride or die products they're always super hard to spot another product from tati that i had a hard time like getting my hands on was the um the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, this one right here, and I'm gonna use it today just to see like if I can get it to work a little bit better for me because I did get it a while back and I only used it like twice and I never went back to it because it just didn't like wow me too much so i'm gonna go back into it today and just see if i can use it differently maybe scrape off a little bit of the top layer see if that works and just to try it one more time so as you can see it's very apparent that the foundation is a little bit too light for me but one thing that i've been doing and i did want to mention um, something that's been working great when it comes to just like my skin and the look of it so that it looks better with foundation on is just really taking your time when it comes to blending in your foundation you want to make sure that you really take your time and not to rush through the foundation process and you're gonna see the huge um, difference that it can make on your skin because it's just going to like blend and sink into the skin when you spend more time on it and as you can see it has like a beautiful luminosity to it it's not matte but it's just like a beautiful um, look it's like a super like glowy skin like look to the skin I really like it and it's not super expensive that's another thing that drew me into it it's eight bucks it's super affordable so it's very accessible to anyone too so now that the foundation is all laid out, this is what it looks like. I know it looks super light, but it's all gonna come together, I promise. We're now gonna go into concealer, and the concealer that I'm gonna be using is the Maybelline Instant H Rewind Concealer. It's this little guy right here, and I'm just gonna go in underneath my eyes, like the usual triangles that everyone does, your standard concealer routine. Nothing special, nothing really has changed. I do like the same spots on my forehead, on my chin on my eyes and then just go in with our sponge and blend it all together and I did want to give you guys an update when it comes to this sponge so this sponge is the eco tools one and I bought it like two months ago I would say and it's already falling apart <laughs> so I do wash my sponges up often because my skin is very prone to acne so I do want to make sure that my tools are always clean and that I clean them often just to make sure that nothing like really breaks me out and my sponge is already falling apart to whereas the real techniques one um, that one is around the same price as this one I wash it just as much as this one it does the same beautiful job at blending and it has lasted me a longer time than this one so I would recommend if you're looking for like a really good affordable makeup sponge go with the real techniques one because I know you can get those ones for like two for ten dollars and they're around the same price as this one but again that one's gonna last you a longer time this one I just think that it's a little bit like too soft and it's a little bit too fragile the other one is a little bit denser but again it does the same beautiful job at just blending in your makeup and the shape of it is really nice too so once concealer is done I'm gonna go in with powder and I'm gonna be using our Cody airspun and something different that I've been doing is just using less powder so when I go in I've poured some down on my lid right here and all I do is just dip the tip of the sponge in there and then tap off of the excess 
and then tap the excess off on the back of my hand and even shake off the excess a little bit and then go into the under eyes. I've noticed what that what this does is just basically give you a lighter touch of powder instead of just going in there and it just gives you like a flat layer of powder instead of like little chunks of powder because I feel like that was one of the reasons why my makeup would get cakey and like separate throughout the day because I was going in with way too much so by like dabbing off the excess or shaking it off it's just gonna give you like a nice veil of powder over your under eyes or wherever you put it and it's just gonna be like a more flawless look to your skin and then whatever's left over on your sponge you're gonna go into your lid and as you can see right now I'm only focusing on the under eyes I'm not going in too down here because I do want to keep some of the natural texture of the foundation and then I'll take the butt of the sponge one more time dab off the excess on the back of my hand and then just go in the forehead just on the center of the forehead on the chin and then on the nose and just a little bit on the sides of my mouth because this area right here is where my foundation creases the fastest and as you can see when I'm like applying it you can barely see it because I'm adding such a small amount of powder now so now that powder is done, we're gonna go ahead and go with bronzer. And today I'm gonna be using the all-time favorite, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer right here. And I'm just gonna go in and just bronze up the face as usual. Just go in on the sides of the cheek, to the temples. And then down on the chin as well. I'm going to do a little bit down the nose as well. And whenever it comes to my nose contour, I always like to add a little bit more powder down the sides of my nose. I found this stuff to be super helpful and just like really defining the nose because I was noticing before that the nose contour was dragging a little bit too low on the sides of my nose. So I've been doing this just to make sure that it's like a nice sharp line. Now for blush, we're gonna be going in with the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Tear Rose, and it's the one with this beautiful and great rose packaging. It's almost too beautiful to use, right? <laughs> almost, because the blush is actually like super, super beautiful. So we're just gonna dip in there, smile, and just blush as usual. And I actually forgot to do my highlight first, so we're going to go with that next. I usually do bronzer, um, highlight, then blush, but I just forgot. <laughs> Alright, so for highlights, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Chrome uh, Metallic Highlighter, this one right here. And once again, I've used this one like twice, So, um, and the first couple of times that I've used it, I haven't been super impressed. So I'm going to go in and just give it one more shot to see how it does. It's kind of like caked up in the pan a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. It's all just like caked up together. So maybe that's like the reason why it's not grabbing a lot of pigment, but we'll give it another shot. And I don't know, I feel like it's too golden for me that it's not like, I think I, I prefer something that's a little bit lighter than this color. A little bit on the forehead. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah, I feel like I just needed to like get through that top layer because there, it looks super beautiful. I'm still going to switch to another one just because I want a lighter um, highlight and I'm going to go in with the Milani um, Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder. It's this one right here, the one that has those beautiful like waves, um, that wave pattern in the pan. I'm going to go in with that one and highlight the tip of my nose, highlight my inner corners, and I think I'm going to highlight my shoulders too. I really love doing that whenever I'm wearing like shirts that show my shoulders and just this area right here, my chest. 
I just really love going in with this highlighter. This one's one of my all-time favorites. It's just like super potent and it looks like wet skin whenever you apply it. It's so freaking beautiful. And then I always like to do like the top of my arm right here, like on my shoulders. like so and just hitting that right there I love doing that like in almost all of my pictures I love just showing off this part of my arm like whenever you take pictures and you go like that I love that you can see that right there and I just love that just like glowy look to the skin I love it so much I don't think I'll ever stop loving highlight I'm not gonna stop anytime soon, you know? <laughs> Anywho, we're now gonna brush off the um, powder from the sides of my nose. And another product from the drugstore that I did want to talk about actually now that we're at highlighter and body highlighters, <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about the Hard Candy um, Plus Glow Body Luminizer Head to Toe Skin Glow. It's this one right here that I found at the drugstore and it's a new one. I think this is a new release. I saw it and I was like, I think this might be like a cool dupe to the Fenty Body Lava or just like the Becca and Chrissy Teigen collab maybe this will be a good dupe for that because I don't want to drop 50 bucks for a body highlighter so maybe this would be a good option don't get this one <laughs> so this was not it unfortunately so I don't even want to open it because I've used it a couple of times I used it like four times now I've been trying it and it's super sticky so whenever you pour it in I almost don't want to use it but I really want to show you too so when you use um, squirt out the product this is the color that you get and then when you go in to rub it it does a nice job like as far as like the glow and it gives you like a nice bronzy look to your skin let me take off my bracelet so when you rub it in it gives you like a nice glow to the skin it's very luminous it does have glitter in it but it's very faint which i actually liked that and i liked that it gave my skin like a sort of like a tan like a bronzy tan and this is the glow that you get with it but it's super sticky so now like even the bottle it's super sticky i wore it this morning i was wearing another dress and i wore it all over my arms and my shoulders right here and i went outside and today it was like a hundred and 110 degrees outside I went out and my hair was just sticking to me I felt super <laughs> gross that we just went out to breakfast we had to come back to the house I took a shower I changed because I just felt super sticky I do not recommend this um, it's such a shame because I really want to find a really good body highlighter but for now I will just settle to like highlighting my shoulders a little bit my chest and just doing that with my powders but I really want to find a good liquid highlighter that I can use on the body and now that the base of our makeup is all done I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera really quick finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back for a final roundup final review of all of the products that I spoke about today and just give you my final thoughts all right guys so this is the final look and one thing that I did forget to mention when I was doing all of my powders is that one thing that I always like to do is that after the highlight and after I've done all of the powders powders in my face I do go in afterwards with a really good spritz of setting spray whatever setting spray you're using I do spritz my entire face just to mesh all of those powders together the to melt them all together and just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and to get rid of that powdery feel to the, your skin and then once you've done your eye makeup your brows your lashes your lips then you go in one last time just to make sure that everything is nice and set at the very end and just for like a quick roundup of all of the products that I used today, once again, the star of the show is the foundation. I'm so happy that I got the chance to try this one out. If you can, and if you find this one at your local drugstore, try it out. It's so good. It's super nice on the skin. It's
it just leaves your skin looking super smooth like my pores are just blurred everything is nice and good I am however a little bit worried about using this one often because once again it is a little bit heavy on the skin so I do feel it in there so I I'm kind of guessing that if I use it too often I will break out so I'm a little bit um, hesitant about that and I will go in very carefully just using it once in a while for those days where I'm doing something special I'm going out or something like that where I want to look like extra nice I will use it but for every day I don't think this is the one because it is a little bit heavy as far as the highlighter goes I did like it better this time but I do still feel like it's a little bit dark on me so I do prefer back to my good old trusty my Milani one this one's one of my all-time favorites it's absolutely beautiful i love the color i love that it's so potent if you want a blinding highlight from the drugstore this one is it i also gave you guys an update on the sponge go with the real techniques one over this one that one will last you way longer than this one as far as the liquid highlighter this one is a pass and another product that i did want to sneak in here in this video is the hard candy plumping serum right here this lip gloss is so good i'm not wearing it right now but it's just a gloss that it's a plumping gloss so you will feel like the mintiness in it and it just leaves your lips looking like super juicy and nice it is not sticky at all and it's super super nice so i do recommend this one this one's like six bucks so it's really nice and the packaging is absolutely beautiful it's super luxurious i love this one and another thing that i did want to mention in this video something that's made such a difference when it comes to my skin and my foundation and as much as I hate to say it because I do hate doing it is just drinking water. I've been drinking way more water than I used to, number one, because I'm in Arizona, so I should be drinking a lot of water anyways, because you don't want to be like not drinking water when it's 110 degrees outside. So I've been drinking way more water than I used to. I'm drinking like two to four liters every day. So at work, I have a coworker that does the same thing. So if he's drinking water, I'm drinking water. So anyways, it's just made such a huge difference when it comes to my skin. I noticed that my skin just looks healthy and glowy in the most natural, beautiful way and it doesn't get as oily as it used to. I've noticed such a huge difference and trust me, I know it sucks. I hate drinking water, but just like forcing myself to do so, it's made a world of a difference. And I'm sure it can do the same thing for you. So please drink a lot of water because foundation and just makeup overall, it starts with your skin. So it's super important to just take care of it and just for self-care and just making sure to pamper yourself it's gonna do great things to your body when you drink enough water and i think that was everything for this video i keep looking at my desk to see if i'm missing anything but i think that was everything that i wanted to touch on guys thank you so much for watching that was all for this video if in the end you do have any questions when it comes to any of these products when it comes to my routine my new foundation routine this new foundation anything that i spoke about in today's video go ahead and let me know in those comments down below also if you have any suggestions for future videos let me know i'd love to hear you out if you have any products that you're excited about or you're curious about if you're on the fence whether to purchase or not to purchase let me know i'll do the best um, that i can to see if i can get the products for you try them out and let you know my thoughts once again don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave i want to thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for being here. Take care and hopefully I will see you guys all on my next video. Bye guys.